Uh, I'm really happy to learn that the uh, TV D1 mission of uh, ISRO uh, has been successfully completed today. Uh, in, earlier in the day, there were two postponements. The first one due to the bad weather conditions over Shihari Kota uh, for about 40 minutes. And subsequently, when the launch was attempted, the automated launch system has uh, issued a hold command a few seconds uh, before liftoff. Uh, in fact, the computer has detected some anomalous condition, and that has uh, really led to uh, the support of the mission at that instant. Uh, the ISO team had uh, carefully analyzed all the parameters from the computer and set right uh, the anomaly, and uh, within an uh, hour itself, uh, that by about 10 o'clock, they were able to attempt the, uh, the launch again uh, after correction of the anomaly. Uh, the, the launch vehicle uh, is actually a special purpose vehicle developed around the Vikas engine, uh, which is uh, a part of the GSLV uh, and uh, GSLV rocket system and a well proven one. Of course, that has uh, taken the, caps, the man capsule. Uh, to an altitude of nearly 10 kilometers and a velocity of uh, about 1.2 times the velocity of sound. And at that instant, the cool module has been ejected from the mother vehicle uh, using a set of rocket system. And uh, subsequently, it has been taken to a, a different trajectory to have a safe landing in the Bay of Bengal. The entire sequence of events uh, including the separation, the new trajectory, the opening up of the parachutes, and the final the soft landing on the sea uh, and you, uh, has been completely demonstrated. And uh, this is a significant milestone towards the uh, Gaganyan program for orbiting humans in our own capsule to the space uh, using the GSLU rocket in the near future. So my heartiest congratulations to the entire team is through.